You don't really know much about Halloween witchcraft. The last great one took place 3,000 years ago when the hills ran red. Halloween. The dead might be looking in. Stop it! The world's going to change tonight, Doctor. Happy Halloween. Halloween 3. Season of the Witch. The Night No One Comes Home. Rated R. Now playing at a theater near you. Welcome, everybody, to the Hair-Raising Flicks Halloween Special. I'm your host, Candy Jack, and tonight we are going to create a concoction for the perfect Halloween Special. So let us start. Put a little dash of mischief, a bottle of some whimsy here. We need to get lots of whimsy. We'll have some fun. Halloween's all about fun, ladies and gentlemen. Don't take it too seriously, but don't have too much fun, because you got to look out. <laughs> Those are the ingredients for a perfect Halloween. But because this is a furry run program and we have to ruin everything, let's put in uh, a nice jar of cringe. Get that in there. There we go. Happy Halloween. Alright, Candy Jack's 2022 Halloween special can now begin. If you recall from my Halloween special last year, I hosted a little indie film called Creepy Pasta, which was a horror anthology inspired by creepy pasta stories from the internet. And I've decided to continue this tradition because I have more movies based on creepy pasta. We're doing a double feature this year because the films are kind of on the shorter side. The first film we'll be watching is called Eyeless Jack, based on the uh, iconic creepy pasta monster, which uh, if you're a creepy pasta fan, you might be familiar with him. Just like last year, uh, there will be some edits made to the movie. Uh, the content is a little bit aggressive at times. The uh, the uncut movie contains some vulgar language, some potentially offensive content that I generally try to avoid on this channel, keep things a little more family friendly ish. If you want to watch the uh, original unedited versions of tonight's movies, I will put links to where you can watch them on YouTube. Uh, but just remember that the stuff that I cut out might potentially be offensive or something like that. I don't know, whatever. Okay, enough of this introduction. Let's just get into the film. We got we got a lot going on tonight. It it is it is Halloween or close. When am I uploading this? I don't know. Kind of kind of lost my train of thought. Let's let's just watch the movie. Okay.
<sighs> Alright, that's the last one. Uh, yeah, thanks again for letting me stay here. No problem, Mitch. You know I'd do anything to help my little bro. Lucky me to have such a great family. Well, let's slow down there. If you were lucky, then they wouldn't have foreclosed your house. Thanks. No problem, man. So, what do you want for dinner? Well, it makes no difference to me. Cool, how about some chicken? Fancy. Only the best around here. We don't want to grade ourselves to those dirty filet mignon eaters. Yeah, I hear ya. Oh, and goofing aside, you get to meet Mr. Jones tonight. Who's that? Yeah, he's the old guy who lives at the bomb apartment. He's a pretty interesting character. Yeah, how so? He knows a lot about myths and legends. From the way he talks about them, you'd think he actually believes in them. And you let this insane man into your house? Only on Fridays. Well, at least you have standards. He's really not that weird. I think you'd like him. Well, take your word for it. So what happened to this Mr. Jones fellow? Now, honestly, I don't know. He usually comes over on Fridays. How old did you say this guy was again? I don't know. About 80. Why? What are you getting at, Mitch? He is pretty old. So? Do I gotta spell it out for you? Are you suggesting he's dead? It's a possibility. Mr. Jones wouldn't do that. Die? Alright, maybe he died. Maybe he's asleep. Old people do these things. It's just a theory I had. Well, it's a fucked up theory. Sorry, I just don't want you to be extra shocked if you find out there's a dead guy downstairs. Fine. I'll check on him in the morning. If I don't see him in a week, I'll call the cops or whoever wrangles up dead folk. Yeah, that uh, sounds like a plan. Dinner was delicious, by the way. Oh, thanks. I tried a new recipe. Mr. Jones, you in there? Yeah, just making sure you're all right. Mr. Jones, we didn't see you at dinner last night. Just making sure you're okay, Mr. Jones. <sighs> Starting to worry now. Police are still baffled by the current strand of murders, but they feel it might be connected to the ones in 1978 due to the victims having surgically removed organs. Oh. Wonder if that killer got the old guy from downstairs. Oh. Kind of just creep myself out there. We doing a fire tonight? Yeah, I figured it'd help relieve all the stress, you know, with all the missing people and you moving in and all that. Yeah, I've been watching the news, right? Yep, something around here is killing people. You mean someone, right? The, the killer has some sort of surgical skill, apparently. Hmm, right. I do recall hearing that. Hey, Ed. Yeah? I know this is a bit dark, but do you think the killer on the news Got that uh, Mr. Jones guy? Yeah, it did cross my mind. He did talk about the first time this happened, though. You mean back in the 70s? Yeah. Yeah, they mentioned that on the news. What's the story there? I'll tell you later. How about we get back to this before it gets dark?
creepier at night than I thought it would be. I thought we were doing this to relieve some stress. Well, it's not working. You want to tell me about those murders now? Oh yeah, everyone knows it around here. Mr. Jones told me when I first moved in. Okay, what happened? Eight people were killed. All in the same way. Surgically removed organs. And they never caught the guy? Nope. The killings just stopped at eight. Mr. Jones knew about it more than I did. Right, and now he's vanished. What's your point? Okay, bear with me, but I got another theory. We need to get you out of this house more. Just shut up and listen, okay? What if Mr. Jones is actually that killer, and uh, he recently decided to start his little hobby up again? What's an old guy gonna do? He's so frail. Okay, never mind that. Uh, do you have any theories on who's killing these people? I mean, not personally, but I know who half this town blames. Who? Eyeless Jack. Wow, Millhouse, that frozen black cherry's turned your tongue black. <laughs> My tongue's black too. Ooh, ooh, let me try. Hey, let's let have let black me, tongue. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this Halloween, the Simpsons are at Burger King. Now, in every big kid's meal, you can get a Simpsons spooky light up. They gleam, there is scream, and you can collect all 15 at Burger King. Where else? Hey, y'all! <laughs> <laughs> All set for Halloween? Oh yeah, this definitely won't be like one of those reoccurring dreams I have where it's Halloween day and I've done nothing to get ready. And those dreams certainly aren't an indicator that I'm overworking myself for validation. What? So what are you doing for Halloween? Watch TV. Sounds like fun. I'll be going to the spooky forest to find a pumpkin to carve. But that place is cursed. Yes, yeah, it's nonsense, it'll be fine. No, you won't. Anyway, let's return to the movie. It's an urban legend that started back in the 70s, along with the killings. So what is Eyeless Jack? Hold on one sec. Like in the show? Yeah, got it. Clever. You think so? Can I hear the story now? Yeah, it was back in 1978. Jack was just an average, ordinary guy trying to make his way through med school. Jack kept to his work most of the time, but at some point started talking to a girl named Jenny. Jenny was a bit strange, you see. Most people avoided her, but for some reason Jack was nice or dumb enough to give her his time. This would prove to be a poor mistake later on. You see, Jenny had been spending time with Jack to earn his trust. She wanted him to trust her enough to come visit her friends. Jack, of course, went along, thinking nothing that bad could happen. Christ, was he wrong! What Jenny failed to mention is that she was a part of a cult that worshipped the demon known as Chernabog. Tonight, the son of our Lord Chernabog shall reach his true form, and he shall lead us all to eternal paradise. But first, his mortal eyes must be removed. They only deceive. To replace them is the nectar of true sight.
At that moment, Jenny looked Jack in the black sockets of his face and said, You were to lead us to paradise. And Jack responded with, You don't deserve paradise. And that is the legend, as I heard it. And this demon guy has been blamed for the murders? For the most part, yeah. Well, I'll just sleep nice and cozy with that in my head tonight. If you think that's something, let me tell you about the stiffer man. strange noises last night? No. Did you? Yeah, it was like some scratching in the walls. It went on for several minutes. I couldn't figure out what it was. I know what it is. You do? Yeah. Raccoons. Ah, yes. That would make more sense than what I was thinking. And what were you thinking? Well, and maybe it's just because of the weird stuff that's been going on, but I thought there might be somebody living in our walls. Try and stay off the caffeine. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna call an exterminator, because they might be causing damage inside the walls. Maybe you should take a quick look in the attic first, just make sure I wasn't dreaming it or something. Smart thinking. Will you check it for me later? I gotta run to the store. Uh, sure, I don't mind that at all. Thanks, bro! something up here. Now where is it? I'm glad you got here as soon as you did. But listen, before you check out anything, I gotta tell you about that attic. You ain't gotta tell me nothing. I seen it all in this business. Used to see more in my last business. See, I used to run a porno shop. Uh, oh, okay. And it was going good for a while until we got shut down for unusual allegations. 
sorry. Man, it's all bullshit anyways. We ran a good, clean business until we had to close doors for selling. Can you just do your job? We ran a good, clean store. I really don't want to hear any Then I had to deal with the woman who drowned it. Or the rotten pile of kitten heads. We ran a good, clean business, though. The fuck are you talking about? But anyways, I got some work to do. I'll let you get about your day. Probably none of my business. Credit card bill. Look at these fees. Honey? One rate for purchases, higher rate for cash advances, and those telemarketers. Relax, we switched to Capital One's new no-hassle card. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Introducing Capital One's new no-hassle platinum card. No balance transfer fees, no telemarketing, one low fixed rate. Huh? Honey? What's in your wallet? All right, let's see what we got out here. Oh. You're perfect. I am going to cut you open and scoop all your insides out. That's what's happening. Hey, what's that? This looks interesting. Wow. Well. Just fine. Everything go okay with the exterminator? She showed up. Didn't find anything. Well, that was a waste. On the bright side, at least the landlord had to pay for it. I think something found her, though. Come again? I heard a scream from the basement. Well, maybe she did find a raccoon and spooked her. I don't think so. It was a real horrific scream. Like, nothing I've ever heard before. Wow, your imagination is really going wild lately. Are you okay? I suppose I'll be all right. Just a bit paranoid, you know? That there's a killer living in our basement. Plus I found a human skull in the attic. At least it wasn't anything serious. Are you mad? I saw her die. Captive in the borderland between life and death.
cabinet. Damn it, Mitch! You can't just burst in here. What if I was having a hardcore? What? You don't want to see that. Okay, sorry, but I'm getting pretty freaky with it too. I've had to find alternatives ever since the porn shop closed down for unusual allegations. I just wanted you to understand the badger rules around here. Yeah, dear God, I won't do it again. All right. What did you want? To be honest, I don't want to look at you right now. Hey, man. You can always talk about your feelings. So what's bugging you? I'll just tell you in the morning. Suit yourself. By the way, the power's getting turned off tomorrow. What? Yeah. I was a bit short on cash this week. No biggie. But I'll get it paid in a few days. I can't do a few days without power. I just saw a man in our cabinet watching me brush my teeth. Oh. Well, do you have $800 for the bill? No. Then I guess you're shit out of luck. Can't you take this serious? We could die! Mitch, you sound insane. There's no one living on our walls. Go to sleep and calm down. Something is going on here. My brother doesn't believe me. I don't think the police will believe me either. Ugh, if only I had some sort of evidence. Actually, that human skull might have counted as evidence. But well, that's up in the attic. Spooky up there. I'll figure this out in the morning. If I don't die. Go investigate this or not. Yeah, I probably should. Yep, that's blood.
so you call me crazy after you see this shit. McDonald's Happy Meal Pails for Halloween. There's a pumpkin pail, Boom. a witch, Boom. and a ghost Boom. that glows in the dark. You can get a different one each week until Halloween. Got uh, 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 Okay. Got it. Whew. Just set that back down. That probably just wasn't important, right? Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna leave now. Come in. I have proof, Edwin. Proof that something is going on. Did you break into Mr. Jones' house? Who cares if I did? Look at the evidence! So you found some pickled organs. It doesn't mean they're human. Okay, well fine, how about this? I saw the killer down in the basement. He saw me, chased after me, I almost died trying to get away from him, and you think I'm nuts. Yep. Well, fine! <sighs> what the hell kind of book is this? Son of Chernabog. Let's see now. Son of Chernabog is the offspring of the Slavic god of darkness. The half-human demon was conceived by Chernabog to open a portal to his world by consuming a flesh feast. If this portal was ever to be opened, the minions of Chernabog's world would be unleashed and the world would come to an end. Well, that's all good, but how do I stop it? Ah, here we go. 
The only way to defeat the son of Chernobog is by summoning Chernobog's counterpart, Bellabog, the Slavic god of light. To do so, you must head to any woods area during the night and... My battery just died. Well, I just got back with your test results. Well, how bad is it? Well, it appears your kidney was removed. I'm so sorry, son. Clearly. Am I going to be okay, though? Oh. Maybe? Maybe? Well, you'll have to stay here for a little while, but you should live. Okay. Have you informed the police yet? Should I have? It helps. Not that it would help anyway. We're dealing with a demonic entity. I'm gonna have to go back to Google for this shit. Hello? What do you mean he escaped from the hospital? Fine, I'll be there in a second. I didn't pay for the bill. Thinks he can stop me, just gonna cut one of my kidneys out. <laughs> I got another one. <laughs> ah. Probably should have called for a taxi though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
the next Disney Sunday movie, the Davises are moving into a new house. Definite fixer upper. Where the tenants are deceased. <laughs> but not departed. This house is not haunted. Keep an eye out for the boogity man. What boogity man? Boogity, boogity. Now it's every man, woman, and child for himself. I saw him! What a weirdo. Dad's gonna negotiate with Mr. Hamburg's face. It's spirited family fun. Oh. Mr. Boogity. I move. <sighs> Ruined Ragnar's flying potion. This is unacceptable. <sighs> Who has done this misdeed to Ragnar? Tell me, Waters. Ah. A little kitty cat, huh? Well, I don't really know what's going on, but uh, let's just get back to the movie for right now. <laughs> All right, time to get serious. All right, uh... All right, Google, how do you summon Bellabog? Results for summoning Bellabog. Okay, here we go. Ah, shit. This seems complicated. Get this done. Shoot. Those must be the minions of Chernabog. Kinda expect them to be a bit more intimidating, but whatever. Alright, after candles are lit. Place dead animal in center has your sacrifice. That. After that, you must perform the ritualistic dance. If dance is done improperly, the whole summoning may not work. Okay. Better do this real carefully then. Okay. First, put your right foot in. Take your right foot out. Put left foot in and shake it about okay finally upon daybreak the slavic god of light will appear but that's like an hour away stupid piece of shit god oh no <laughs> i guess you're a bit upset with me I can see that.
God, my side hurts. I wonder if that God can restore my kidney when he shows his ass up. You don't need any gods, bitch. I'm right here. What's going on here? I'm your kidney, bitch. Just swallow me down your pie trap and I'll be back in place. That doesn't make any sense. I just digest you. You wouldn't go back in place. Swallow me, bitch. Gag on me as I slide down your throat. I don't like this. I'll make you whole again. Just grab on and swallow me. Okay, I think I'm just hallucinating this from blood loss anyway, so whatever. <laughs> Wait a minute, what the? Oh God! Oh. I must have won. Did you stop him? I have. Well, shit, you saved the world, bro. Wish I could pay you back somehow. It is my job to ensure light ends the dark. Ah, well, that's cool. Can you use your powers to fix my kidney? No. The whole situation was a load of shit. What do you got to bitch about? Yeah, hey, fuck off, pal. You don't know what I've been dealing with. Demons and shit. It's complicated. Sounds like something. Yeah, sure is. Bet they could write a book on the strange creatures that inhabit this world. What did you say?
What's wrong with Dracula? He's losing his monster power. So is Frankenstein. Quick, into the monsterizer. You can activate the monsterizer, batteries not included, and imagine you're restoring monster power to Frankenstein. Figure sold separately. You crank him into the chamber. It closes automatically. Activate the monsterizer. I feel like a new monster. The monsterizer comes complete as shown. Frankenstein and Dracula figures are sold separately. New from Remco. Welcome back. Hopefully you enjoyed the conclusion of Eyeless Jack. Next, we're going to get into the second feature of tonight, Tiki Toby. Once again, based on a uh, creepypasta story, so if you're into that sort of thing, I think this is uh, probably the better of the two movies we're watching tonight, but again, you can, just, you can be the judge of any quality going on here. So yeah, not much else to say about that. Let's just get into that second feature and continue to have a uh, overall pretty solid ho what now ho now I know I paid the bill what, or did I pay the bill or did I spend money on catnip okay now I can't really remember what was that oh my god a flashlight somewhere okay there we go <laughs> Ragna is displeased with you her potion is ruined yeah, sorry about that. But Ragna is feeling generous tonight. That's good. She will give you till midnight to replace her potion ingredient. Oh, what is it? Ground cat brains. Of course it is. Find her a brain, or it is yours we shall take. Oh, that blows. Your home will also be cursed for the rest of the night. This is kind of a crappy Halloween. Since the beginning of time, creatures have killed to survive. They kill for food or in self-defense. One way or another, life on Earth has continued by causing death. Some may wish to fight this ugly reality, but a force stronger makes sure that these primal urges come through. Did you enjoy the party, kids? I guess. People are kind of weird though. Well, the Woods family has been through a lot over the years, and we have to do what we can do to cheer them up. Technically, we don't. You can, though. Thank you, Lyra. I'll keep that in mind. 
What happened to them again? Somebody in their family went AWOL and killed a bunch of people. Stop being insensitive. Just seemed like a normal enough guy. And then blam! Fucking psychopath. I do have to wonder, how does a person just start killing like that? Something evil got him. That's ridiculous. Could have been the Slender Man they speak of from Legend. Slender Man? Yeah, he's a monster that lives in the woods. People say he can take over your very will and turn you into a killer. I thought that was the Wendigo or something. The Wendigo turns you into a cannibal, but the Slender Man just has you killed for the sake of doing so. And you think the Slender Man took over Jeff? No, I just think the dude's fucking nuts. You don't have to be so blunt about everything, Lyra. But slow down, Harold. You'll get us killed. Quit bitching. Well, sorry. I want us home alive. Would you like to drive? To be honest, yes. Well, you can't. You're not that good. Jesus Christ. Chill out. If you wasn't, if you wouldn't such a bitch, your son would be. Real nice, and I guess your father of the year. Better parent than you. Stop it. Boy, you stay the f out of this. Harold, pay attention. What are you doing in here? I have to eat. Why? You ain't got nothing to live for. All you do is cost me money. What are you doing there? Ticking again? Ticky ticky Toby? Shut it. Why? Was that why all the kids, the school kids called you a ticky Toby? At least I'm not a useless drunk that can't keep a job. Maybe I wouldn't have to work so hard if your mother was still alive because you caused that wreck. You can't pin that on me. I wasn't the one driving drunk. You distracted me from the road! I told you to stop yelling, so you turned around to yell at me. So you think it's my fault that your brother and mother and sister are dead? Yes! How can you not see that? You can get the f back in your room and stop chewing on your cheek. What'd you say to me, Tiki Toby Rogers? What the f that? Toby Rogers' tick is a symptom of his Tourette syndrome. Tourette's is a mental disorder characterized by multiple motor tics. Common tics of Tourette's include eye blinks, coughing, and facial movements. Toby's condition appears in the form of a neck spasm. These neck spasms are completely involuntary and can happen at any moment. Where the f are the balls? <laughs> Toby, get your ass out here and do the dishes. Get out here and do the dishes. Quit chewing on your cheek, you weirdo. Congenital insensitivity to pain is a rare condition in which sufferers cannot feel physical pain. Those who have this disease are often covered in scars and burns. There you go, weirdo.
for you, boy. Hey. Schizophrenia is a disorder that affects one's ability to think, feel, and behave clearly. This condition is characterized by thoughts or experiences that seem out of touch with reality. Common symptoms of schizophrenia include hallucinations, paranoia, and hearing voices. Who said that? It's me, Toby. Don't you recognize my voice? Lyra? That's right, Toby. It's your sister Lyra. Did you miss me? Well, yes, but how are you? You're dead. You can't kill the spirit, Toby, especially one as strong as mine. I don't understand. Why are you here? You're not happy, Toby. Father doesn't treat you well, does he? No. He's not nice like you and Mom. How is Mom? Can I talk to her? Lyra? Where are you? Please don't leave again. Horseman. No, I mean the horseless headsman. It doesn't even make any sense. Yeah, how is that even scary? It's Look even at so my scary. head! Mm. Have a Snickers. Why? Because you get confused when you're hungry. Better? Better. <laughs> you're not you when you're hungry. Snickers is Halloween's satisfaction. A leprechaun? Are you working for the witch as well? Don't be ridiculous. Witches aren't real. Oh. Huh. Then why are you here? I'm watching a movie. What? Quiet. This is the good part. Huh? You bother me. Now go. <gasps> the cat is tied up for a moment. Allow me to return you to the film. The monster created by a man that... Been out to the bars again, drunk. At least today for years to you. Look what you did! All you do is ruin everything. Well, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? You know it's your fault that Mom and Lyra are dead. You're just too busy thinking that you're some sort of god to admit it, so you just blame me. Watch it, Tickin Boy. Nobody made you get smashed before driving home that night. Mom even offered to drive, but you wouldn't let her. If you don't shut up, I swear I'll- What? Hit me? I feel no pain, Harold. And that just kills you, doesn't it? Knowing that you can't punish me in the most primitive way possible. You'll regret that remark when I'm sober. Well, that's not going to happen. Huh. <laughs> Toby, 
Wake up, Toby. Lara, you've returned. Come outside, Toby. I want to see you. I'm coming. Things are too scary. <laughs> Toby, come here. I missed you, Toby. Is that you, Lara? Of course, Toby. Don't you recognize me? Yes, I do now. Why have you come here? It's about father, Toby. He ruined this family. Well, what can I do about it? He's a hopeless drunk. Me and Mom are dead, Toby. He'll kill you next. He must be stopped. Well, what do you want me to do? I can't kill him. Why not? No one will miss him. But if I kill him, I could go to jail. It's risky. You need not worry, Toby. He'll protect you. Who? The one who watches over you. He sees great potential in you, but you must have faith in him. You must be willing to serve. Do you mean the Slender Man? I saw him outside my window. Lyra, what happened? What's happening?
You'll have to destroy the evidence, Toby. This rubble is all that's left of the Rogers residence after a mysterious fire burned it down yesterday. Harold Rogers lives here with his son Toby, who is currently missing. Remains of Harold were discovered scattered throughout the scenes and the police suspect that this was not an accident. If you have any information on the whereabouts of Toby Rogers, please contact your local police. More tragedies. Oh, nice. Is that him? I'm gonna find you and make you regret what you did. I did it, Lara. I killed father. He'll never hurt anyone ever again. What have you done, Toby Rogers? You think you'll just kill me and that'll solve all your problems? Ah. No! You're dead! I'm not as dead as you're going to be. Monsterize are back at Taco Bell. Get them while they're fresh. Just 99 cents with the purchase of a combo meal. Taco Bell. Want some? I now? Oh God! That's all right. I can make it as long as I don't trip like those bimbos in the movies. Okay. Well, I forgot him a boob. Oh God! No! Get out of the way! What just happened? Just having some fun with you. But I thought you wanted me to find brains before midnight. And yeah, I don't really care. We'll just take your brain if you come up empty-handed. You're mean. Yeah. Oh.
Wait up. Crazy to think this pile of rubble was a house a couple days ago. Hey Amber, do you think it's okay for us to be here? F off Travis, this would be great for our YouTube channel. Yeah, I guess so. Why are there people out here? No one should ever come here. This is a bad place. <laughs> Lyra, are you here? Of course I'm here, Toby. People are at the house, shooting video. Why? They're looking for you, Toby. They're probably with the police. They want to bring you in for what you did to father. Why? Father was bad. The house was a bad place. I destroyed the bad things. They'll never understand what you do for them, Toby. You'll just have to kill them, too. But they haven't hurt anyone. Give it time. They all want you dead. Why should you die over them? Yes. You're right. What the hell? What is wrong, Travis? The camera. It just... Never mind. It's fine. If you say so. <coughs> Kitty? <coughs> that cat? <coughs> Where are you, cat? Are you over here? Where are you? <coughs> Better not be playing with the cat. Where? Travis, where'd you go? Who the hell are you?
are you? I'm the guy that may have just saved your life. You have any idea what's in those woods? No, what? Let's sit down somewhere. It's a lot to explain. Look, Lara. I got one of the bad people. I, I can't stay long, though, or the other one will get away. <laughs> My name's Frank, and I'm searching for something. Something I'm positive is in those woods. What the hell are you talking about? The Slender Man. I don't know what that is. It's a monster, and about a year ago it took my daughter. That sucks. It's known to prey on children, and I'm positive it had something to do with the Toby Rogers case. You mean Tiki Toby? Huh? Yeah, that's what the school kids called him. They even made a little rhyme about him. What now? Uh, yeah, Tiki Toby, Tiki Toby, watch him tick like a Luna tick. That's great and all, but I have a serious matter at hand. Listen, I'm sorry you lost your kid and all, but you sound kind of nuts. I didn't expect anyone to believe me, but nonetheless, that's what's going down in those woods and I intend to stop it. Oh shit! Stay back, Toby. This isn't about you. I just came for Slenderman. The Slenderman? He is my master. He protects me. That's not true, Toby. He's a monster. He's using you. Lie! Just trying to confuse me. I'm trying to help you. Stop! Shit, don't do this, Toby. You're not Slenderman's slave. You don't have to kill anyone. Kill, Toby. Kill, 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 kill. Holy shit! Shit, I was not prepared. I was prepared to fight faceless monsters. Not a psycho with an axe. I hope I won't need this. I need that kid to bring me to the Slenderman. Everybody's heading for Woolworth and Woolco to get set for Halloween. There's Star Wars costumes like Darth Vader and C-3PO. Superheroes like Spider-Man, Wonder Woman and Batman. There's the Shogun Warrior and many more, all at bare bones prices. Only $1.97 to $3.99. And wrapped candy of every kind to cheer any spirit. All at the favorite Halloween haunts, Woolworth and Woolco. Oh, it's creeping out here. Uh, any cats out here? Me, kitty. What was that noise? Wait, I'm making that noise. Huh? Hey, lady, you see any black cats out here? I see one right in front of me. Yeah, but I need to find another one, or some old hag is gonna take my brain. No need for another. Your brain will do just fine. What? what wait, who are you? I am Ragnar, witch of the forest who has lived for over a thousand years. Well, you look great for your age. You are running out of time to replace my brain. I look forward to taking yours, then I'll turn the rest of you into a nice stew. You look fat enough. Uh, ouch. 
Hold on, it's not midnight yet. I can still find your brain. I will honor my word, but only if you can outrun me. Huh? Start running! <laughs> oh god. Let's see, get in mad. Yeah, right. Witches be magic. Got it. <laughs> Having doubts, Toby? Sarah, what is this Slender Man? Am I not in his best interests? Of course you're in his best interests, Toby. He loves you. He loves all his children. They must be faithful. The man who came in the woods last night. He said the master was using me. Have faith, Toby. He will free you of all your sorrows. I don't understand. Don't be like me, Toby. It's as simple as that. Who are you? I am doubt. I have no faith. And I am faith. I have no doubt. We are very parts of your being, but you can only keep one of us. How do I choose? Just make up your mind, that's how. Do we have to hold your whole generation's hand all the time? I just want to know who's right. Choose me and you'll be forever lost. I have nowhere to go, no one to turn to, none can be trusted. Choose I, Toby, and you will feel soothing warmth. No guarantee at first that things will be right, but at the end you'll know. Now who's it gonna be? I'm not sure it should be me. But I'm positive. Do it, Toby. Yes, you're right. I shall keep my faith in the master. Good. Now follow me. You choose faith and you are rewarded with paradise. What is this place? The mansion in the woods. It is a safe haven for people like you. Follow me inside. Have a seat, Toby. Dinner will be served soon. Dinner? Of course. As long as you have faith, you shall be provided for. And if my faith isn't strong? <sighs> you wouldn't want to let that happen. Look at this wonderful place. Those who doubt don't get such things. What do doubters get? Look. These are Tim and Brian, past servants of the Slender Man, who failed to serve significantly. Now they rot in this mansion as a symbol of where doubting leads. I understand now. Good. Now let us eat. You will need your strength to kill for the master. My favorite.
You'll get everything you ever wanted. All you have to do is kill. Kill, kill for, for the, the master. master. Kill for kill. the master. Kill. 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 Yes. Kill. Kill. I will. Dad, can you hear me? Where are you? Jessica, is that you? Jessica, where are you? about me and caring about the environment. Screw everybody else. Babe. Hey babe. You'll never believe the work I had to put in the saving the environment today. Like nobody else cares. I brought many offerings for you, Master. I found three of them. They're just wandering out in the woods. It was so easy. Toby Rogers! Someone is disrupting us. Where are you, Toby Rogers? Where is he, Toby? Where's Slender? If you tell me, I'll let you go. You just want to hurt me like everyone else. That's not true, that's bullshit. Now tell me where he is, you little I will not betray him. He gave me purpose. Happy life. Your perfect master has you living in some slum and he took my daughter. What? How many times do I gotta tell you this? He's f***ing evil. What are you doing? Those who doubt the master suffer a great fate. Ah! 
You didn't even have your axe in that tussle. What kind of maniac are you? I wasn't trying to kill you. I just wanted this. Oh, f I refuse to continue being a slave to you. But I won't let you choose my fate either. Don't, Toby. You've been doing so well, Toby. Why waste it all now? We love you, Toby. All you have to do is kill that man and we can all be happy. Yes, of course. Who the f*** are you talking to? What's going on? <laughs> Nothing makes sense anymore! Stop! You have no power without one of your slaves doing your dirty work. My mind is too strong for you. from one of your brothers, but not from my star pupil. Regardless, you'll be back on your feet in no time. Does a weak little mortal really think he can kill a force that has strived for eons before he? 
That is quite a humorous thought. But as long as I remain in charge, chaos shall run supreme. <laughs> managed to get away from the old hag, but this search has been completely fruitless. Trick or treat! You're a black cat! Yes I am! I'm also trying to collect extra Halloween candy because I ate my brothers and now I feel bad. So I'm trying to do the right thing and get them some more. Sometimes when you screw things up, you just gotta take accountability for your actions. You know what I mean? <laughs> Found a brain. Punky pumpkin, the happy pumpkin, never wears a frown. You can see that he's cut out to be a clown. Oh, what a clown is he. The candlelight inside him makes his eyes light up and gleam. They shine right through the window at you for a happy 